Hi, my name is Scott Gibson with Beneath the Surface. This is Mickey Fulp with Mercenary Geologists. Thanks for being with us, Mickey. Thanks, Scott. Always a pleasure. We're here in Cambridge House in Vancouver, and we're going into the summer. I wanted to get your take on the metal, specifically gold and silver. What do they typically do with the typical yearly patterns over the summer? Yeah, usually the summertime, specifically July and August, is a seasonal low for the price of gold and silver. So with a recent correction, it does not look good for the immediate future, not only in a technical uh, uh, chart scenario, but also the seasonality. So I always look for buying opportunities in July and August for the gold and silver markets. And I, I see no reason to think that won't happen again this year. And what about the stocks? How do they typically react over the summer? Sometimes they lead, sometimes they follow. What's your take? The general scenario is the summer doldrums, but the usual scenario is sell in May and go away. Well, obviously no one's selling in May, but no one's buying either. So we're, we're faced with a very illiquid market right now with volume something on the order of only 40 million shares a day. And that's, that's horrendous compared to in the bull market, 200,000 or 200 million shares a day were, were common. So. Uh, what I expect to happen this year is is a very long and and painful summer doldrums. I don't really see an end in sight when things can get better until perhaps after Labor Day, and that's probably optimistic for the market market in general. So I think we got some tough times coming with summer doldrums. Do you see any particular opportunities in the stocks? Something that you might like or worth watching at least? Well, I think what you need, uh, discovery still being rewarded, especially these big copper gold discoveries. And we've seen four or five of those over the last year. We have a uranium discovery in the western Athabasca Basin now that's created an area of play. So there are some, some particular uh, areas, particular deposits that have captured the market's attention. And we'll see if that has longevity. Uh, but for the most part, uh, going to be a long, hot summer for most of the juniors, I think. Is there a particular stock that you'd like to mention? That uh... Well, I've taken on a couple of sponsors recently. Uh, I might mention uh, Blackheath Resources, my tungsten play. Perhaps we've talked about that before. Uh, 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 tungsten experience Explorer developer in Portugal, one of the premier districts in the world. My newest uh, sponsor would be Gold Royalties Corp. Uh, I've moved a little bit into royalty space. It fills an interesting niche because we have the giant uh, royalty companies, right. and and but until recently we haven't had any smaller the royalty companies that would be willing to take on juniors. So so Gold Royalty Corp would fit that space. Nice, nice. Well, thanks very much. I don't own either of those companies. Yourself? I own both of those companies, and they're both sponsors. So I'm financially biased in this opinion. Excellent. Thanks very much, Mickey. Thanks for being with us. Again, that's Mickey Folk, mercenary geologist. My name is Scott Gibson with Beneath the Surface. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.